Hello everybody, welcome back to Zero Tolerance TVZT here. We've got a pretty exciting game for you today. This is going to be Boxer vs. Naura. Definitely, in my eyes, the two uh, best players left in this tournament. Both of them obviously go on to have pretty storied careers and already are actually pretty uh, well known at this point, so pretty awesome to see this match. Unfortunately, it's going to be that same best of one, but you know, look, can't have everything, okay? Cannot have everything. So I believe the, uh, so Boxer beat, um, who was, Kingdom on Paradox. And Naura, I think he beat Zeus? I'm not sure anymore. I'm not entirely sure. But whatever. This is going to be on Sin Gamma going. Pretty important match, I would think. In these uh, round robins, they kind of all are. And we actually have cross bonds. This is really one of the very few cross bonds that we've seen in this tournament. So that's kind of cool. Quick shot of Nara there, and this is Boxer up in the top left. Nara obviously in the bottom right. So Red Terran, what what are the opinions here? Do you like Red Terran? I I think it's okay. I think there's better colors for Terran. I think White Terran actually looks really cool. Uh, Teal Prados is fine. Whatever. I actually really don't care that much about the Prados colors. It doesn't make a big difference to me. Uh, Terran actually kind of does. Like you can definitely notice it with the Marines. Um, you know, SCVs a little bit, but like whatever. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Leave a comment. Let me know what's your favorite if you want to. And now Ra is scouting here. He is not cross scouting first, it looks like. Now he's going to be going up to the top right spawn. So he will scout Boxer second, unless he does an, what do you call an end scout. That would be unfortunate for him. But we'll have to see. I think usually in PVT, you just kind of normal clock scout, I guess I'll call it. Counterclock or clockwise, either one. That's clock scouting now. I just made it up. And if you don't use clock scouting, you're a coward. I mean the name. You, you don't have to clock scout every game. You can end scout or whatever, that's fine. And yeah, okay, so... Nara is clock scouting. And going to find a boxer here. A boxer might know well Nara is just from... Know where Nara is, just from the timing of that probe. Now, because Terran is a somewhat silly race... This is a full wall uh, for a probe, apparently. So, Nara will not get a scout off here. <laughs> That's so funny that you can't get through that. Uh, I guess two depots and a barracks is a uh, pretty complete wall there. And so, Nara will not know that Boxer has taken gas. Now, I'm sure he knows Boxer's style. And Boxer is definitely a gas type of player um, a lot of one basing from boxer he likes to do uh, really technical timing attacks and it really uh quite often works out for him so you can't really blame him now no marine being made there that's kind of interesting um for a one base build you would kind of think that you would want to be making marines so maybe boxer is going to be expanding something like a factory expand uh still no marine being made yeah so I, i'm not sure he's gonna okay it's a two pack totally reasonable uh this is not a cheese like it would be nowadays if you go three factories on one base it's cheese but you can definitely go for a two factory build and then expand that's totally legit at this point in starcraft so uh, we're not really sure what Boxer is doing quite yet. Now, the Dragoon will not kill the SCV, but he is going to chase him out of the base here. Actually, might catch him on the ramp. We will not know. Now, if that's a third... Okay, so this is a cheese. Boxer is doing a one base build. Definitely going to be getting aggressive here. 
Now, factory, uh, sorry, factory, robotics facility is a good uh, response to something like this. Um, is he vultures? This could be... Oh, I mean, I mean, he's gonna make vultures. There's no question about that, but like, I don't know. I'm not sure what Boxer's doing quite yet. I think he'll make siege tanks. Um, the robotics facility is just a great defensive and offensive tech for Protoss. Uh, Boxer, because he's insane, has somehow scouted this with his SCV. I don't even know how that's possible. Um, yeah, I, I don't know where that SCV was. I wish we'd gotten a shot of how exactly Boxer was able to get that scout off, but we're not sure. Um, but Robox Facility is a great way to stop all sorts of attacks and also does a pretty good job of counterattacking afterward if... Uh, Nalra doesn't die to this. Now, he hasn't taken a base. I think he's kind of got Boxer's number on that. He knows how Boxer plays. He's like, you're just gonna, you're gonna do some sort of one base. I'm just gonna be ready for it. I'm gonna go one base Reaver, get my dropship. I doubt he'll get speed. He might even get shuttle speed, I guess. Uh, shuttle speed can be pretty good, but you don't really need it. Um, and uh, I'm just gonna not die. That's the plan here. Now Boxer trying to get some mines set up on these goons. Oh my god, that's so unlucky! Nara double missed with his Dragoon shots. Boxer trying real hard to get in here, but actually will not be able to. Two more Vultures coming down. It looks like this is just mostly a Vulture play. Now finally that uh, one Dragoon does die to a Spider Mine, but that was like four vultures for one goon. That's a fair trade for Nalra. Now he has damaged those other goons, so that's something for Boxer, but so far this is pretty well held, and it's not going to be too hard for uh, Nalra to get detection, so it's not like there are going to be spider mines that he has to walk through. Remember that the uh, really difficult micro Protoss came up with to walk your goons through spider mines has not been in figured out yet. I will say invented, but <laughs> that's not really the right word. You could have technically, you know, you could have done that day one. That wasn't, you know, something that was impossible. People just didn't realize that was a thing. So as you don't know, you get the mine to pop up and then walk your dragoons back and use a pat uh, patrol command. What just happened? What? From the low ground? That is so ridiculous. Okay, well, I guess Boxer's just gonna get insane damage now. Uh, yeah. I don't even... <laughs> That's so ridiculous. If that, if that was intentional, it was godlike. I have no idea if it was, though. Just to be real. But this Reaver's gonna get some big kills of its own. Oh my god, this game is crazy. This game is absolutely insane. There's just no workers left. Not Like, neither player is gonna be mining. I think Nalra can actually regain control of his base, but I'm not even sure if Boxer can. Like, what number of uh, vultures need to be made to kill that Reaver? It's a lot. And uh, Nalra here is actually gonna be able to start mining again now. He still has probes. Boxer has a bait. Does he have a natural? No, I think that's a bunch of SCVs. So Boxer's just not mining right now. Yeah, those were SCVs. Um, I guess Nalra's ahead now? Because he like actually has workers that are mining. Boxer trying to get more damage done with this one vulture, but like that's just not going to do it. There's an observer here. Maybe he gets a probe, but at this point... I traded probe for a vulture. That's fine. <laughs> this one dragoon is going to be able to shoot down these buildings that are flying. Is Boxer just out of money? Did Nalra win this with just that reaver drop? No, two tanks pop out, so now he should be able to push at least that goon out. But it's going to be tough to defend against this Reaver. And if the Reaver finds these SCVs as they're coming back... I mean, look at all three of them, though. There's hardly any left. More SCVs being produced, but, uh, I mean, a Dragoon and a Reaver can probably kill off two tanks. The Reavers are really good here, especially without Siege Mode. That's kind of what makes tanks kill Reavers. And now both tanks are dead. A third has popped out. Oh, man, this is looking real <laughs> crazy. I think Nara's gonna get this tank. Well, it is full HP now, so it's gonna be tough. Oh man, what a wild game. <laughs> Still recovering from that that uh, insane mine. Oh my god, how did that even happen? Uh, oh no, the Reaver dies, so will get any SCVs here? No, a dud. Yeah, shooting from behind minerals is kind of uh, a coin flip. So, 
Stability. Um, Nara has more workers, so that's good for him. His economy is going to be a little bit better. His tech is fine, but Boxer's tech is decent too. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know who's winning here. This is a crazy game. We're gonna have to see what happens. Uh, I have, I have no prediction. I, there's no point. I mean, just given how this game has played out, there's no point in trying to make a prediction here. Uh, obviously something absolutely insane is gonna happen, and I'll be wrong. So, yeah. I was right that Boxer was trying loan base build, I guess, so I'll take that. Uh, Dragoon's now running up here. Tank does not have siege mode quite yet, so I think the Dragoons are going to be able to do a pretty good job. One of them does die, but that tank has to be pretty low, and SCVs are needed to repair here. The tank dies! Nalra kills it, and Boxer now back down to just one tank. Traded one goon for one tank there. A great trade for him. SCVs have to repair it now as well. Calcium more gas. Boxer's actually not harvesting gas right now, so... Yeah, this is looking rough. I think that shuttle probably has a reaver in it, and it might just be here to end the game. Um, yeah, I, I think econ economically, Nara is in enough of a better position that he's probably going to take this. It really depends. If there's a reaver in that shuttle, I think the game's over. Uh, if it's not a reaver, say it's like two goons or something, I'm not sure then. You know, Nalra could like elevate her into the base, but there's two tanks now. It is a reaver, okay. So I think this game is going to be pretty much done here. We'll see. Nice drop of the Zell to eat tank shots and some actually pretty decent uh, reaver micro here. First tank goes down. That Zealot is probably not going to chase down the tank, and no, it doesn't. But the Reaver now killing SCVs, getting Nara even more ahead on economy. But the Reaver does die as Nara is shuttling Dragoons into Boxer's main. Now, there is economic damage going with this, so trading units for units while getting economic damage is pretty nice. Three Goons in the main now. That tank dies. A couple Vultures pop out, trying to lay mines on these Dragoons. But even if they do hit, they're probably going to kill off SCVs as well. And the Dragoons are able to kill the mines because of the Observer. It looks like Nara has taken a really great position here. Boxer has no units left against these two goons in his main, losing a few more SCVs. Now those SCVs are being pulled to attack, but two more goons have been shuttled in. Boxer is in a horrible position here. I think Nalra's done it. A tank pops out, but there are enough goons here to two round it. Yeah, and it dies so quickly. Vulture here, but after this amount of damage, I feel like all these Dragoons could just blow up, and Nara is still way ahead, and actually the Vulture just dies, so it doesn't even matter. I like this, um, just hitting the uh, depot so that it's burning. Uh, that will force Boxer to come out and repair it with his SCVs, unless he wants there to be an easy path into his base. Now, a tank did pop there, but it got focused down by those goons. What a horrible time to switch cameras. And there we go. Nalra wins a crazy game. Boxer clearly looks disappointed. Dude, that, that Reaver was so brutal, but the the Vulture attack... Oh, man. I that was, that was wild. That was a wild game. I love that one. I hope you enjoyed it, too, and I hope you come back for the next one. Have a good one.